Hey, good Thursday morning. Yeah, Thursday morning. It is. It was a beautiful day yesterday afternoon. Felt like spring, didn't it? Yeah, it felt like spring. And um, if you were able to get out and enjoy the sun and soak in some of the vitamin D, I'm sure you were just as happy as, as could be. Uh, today, I'm not sure what the weather is going to be, but if, if it's sunny and warm, make sure you get out and enjoy it. You know, there's signs of hope. There's signs of hope. Spring is is around the corner. Today, here in Ritchie County, there's a clinic out at the 4-H grounds, and and I'm sure if, if you were on the list, you probably got your call, and if not, there's always next week. But, you know, signs of hope. More and more people are getting vaccinated, and uh, you just you just see it around around you here in in 2021 and it's so much different from what it was a year ago a year ago things were shutting down a year ago there was so much worry so much fear so much uncertainty but you know what god got us through those moments and now we're towards the end of this pandemic and there are signs of hope everywhere more and more people getting the vaccine, vaccination, I can't even talk. Um, and again, the temperatures are warming up, the sun is shining, and uh, the birds are singing, and God is still in control, and there's brighter days ahead. So today I want to share with you um, a prayer uh, by Habakkuk in the Old Testament, a prophet, one of the minor prophets. And, and I'm just going to share with you a portion of his prayer. This is from Habakkuk chapter 3. And, and this is what he says. <clears throat> Lord, I've heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds. I stand in awe of your deeds. And, and what he's talking about, you know, here you have a prophet who is recalling and remembering the covenant that God made with the people of Israel and the people of Judah, how God provided in the wilderness, how God parted the Red Sea, how God fed them when they were hungry, how God provided water, how God destroyed and and defeated enemies when God's people were opposed. And Habakkuk says, Lord, I've heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds. And then he says this, and I think this is a prayer that many of us would would repeat today. He says, repeat them in our day. Yeah, that's what he says. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. He says, repeat them in our day. Talking about, I've heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds. I mean, this is in the Old Testament. But you look in the New Testament, what Jesus did. How Jesus healed the sick, how Jesus fed the hungry, how Jesus taught his disciples to love not only the Lord their God with all their heart, soul, strength, and mind, but to love their neighbors, they love themselves. And and they saw it lived out when Jesus went to the cross. When Jesus' hands and feet were nailed to the cross, when Jesus cries out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Habakkuk in the Old Testament, doesn't, he's not even aware of, of what is to come. He's only looking back and seeing what has taken place. And he's crying out for God in his prayer. He says, I stand in awe of your deeds, Lord. Repeat them in our day, in our time. Make them known. And then he says, in wrath, remember mercy. This is a prayer of Habakkuk. And I think this would be a prayer of all of us. Repeat them in our day. The disciples went on from Jerusalem. And what did they do? They healed the sick. They went on and proclaimed the good news of Jesus in every community they went. They shared the love of Christ to people of different cultures. And they gave signs of hope to everyone they encountered. And I think our prayer today would be like Habakkuk's prayer. I stand in awe of your deeds, Lord. Repeat them in our day. 
and in our time make them known. In wrath, remember mercy. I hope this prayer speaks to you wherever you are today because we need the Lord one year in of this pandemic and already we see signs of hope. There are miracles that are taking place and there are neighbors doing everything they can to help their neighbor. Folks, this is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope that you're happy. I hope that you're healthy. I hope that you're safe. And if the sun warms up a little bit today, I hope you're able to get out and enjoy this day that God created for you and for me. Have a great day, everyone, and God bless.